everyone. As I'm sure you guys are very much aware, back to school season is slowly creeping up on us and I know it's a little early for back to school videos. According to everyone else on YouTube, it is not because everyone started their back to school videos already. But for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my back to school fitness routine. And a super exciting part of this video as well is that it is actually a collab with my friend Cicely. And she makes really awesome videos here on YouTube. She makes lots of videos about routines and life hacks and all of the above. You guys just need to go look at her videos because they are really good. And for her video today, she is doing some fitness life hacks. So definitely go check that out. Click the link. I'll have that listed right down below for you guys. And if you guys are coming from her channel, hello, my name is Laura. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on the link and check out my video. I really appreciate it. And you guys can click the red subscribe button if you want to see new videos from me every Monday and Thursday. So yeah, without any further ado, let's hop into the video. <laughs> So when going for a workout, I love to wear cute workout clothes because I feel like it just motivates you to work out a little bit harder. And my go-to workout clothes are usually Nike or Lululemon. So to get started on this workout, we are obviously warming up because you definitely want to make sure you're always warming up your body before a workout. And the first move we're doing is one called the hopscotch where I pick a line and well, hopscotch up and down it. So I'm going one, two, two, one, and you'll keep going until your heart is racing. And next up, I'm picking another line and I'm just jumping back and forth. And a lot of these are really similar to some soccer exercises. And the next I'm doing speed squats and these will get your heart pumping like no other. You will definitely be warm after you're done this one. And you can also do this one in pulses as well. For this next move, we are working our abs and our arms by using your backpack. You can put anything heavy in it like textbooks or something like that. Just make sure they're not breakable. And you'll want to take your backpack and hold it by the handle and then swing it forward. You can also do this side to side and this really works your arms as well as engages your core. This is a move you'll feel in your abs, arms, and legs. And what you'll want to do is start off in a standing position where you have your backpack over your head and then you will move into a squatting lunge position. And as you do that, you will take your arms and move it forward. So you're really working your triceps along with your quads and it engages your abs as well. And you'll just keep moving down the line and do this about three or four times until you can't do it anymore. Next up, we are working our obliques and you'll take your backpack right on your side and then you'll want to lean it down just a tiny bit and this is really going to engage the whole side of your abs. And here we have another tricep toning move and for this one, you'll grab hold of the backpack by its shoulder straps and bring your elbows to a 90 degree angle which you'll really feel in the back of your arms and you'll want to try and do about 3 sets of 15. Here is another one that engages the abs and the arms and so you'll just be taking your backpack and swinging it around your body and this one's kind of fun as well because you feel like you're throwing your stuff around but you're really working out. For this move, you'll want to stand in a really solid position with your knees slightly bent and then you'll grab a hold of your bag from the back and using your abs to swing it from side to side and if you want to make this move a little bit more difficult, you can bend your knees even further but just make sure your knees stay aligned with the top of your toes and it's not going past because you never want to extend your knees past your feet. So moving on to a strictly ab move, basically this move is the sitting version of the last one we did where you're balancing on your bum and you're taking your backpack and you're placing it from a one hip to the other. For the last move, we are dishing the backpack and going down to plank position where you'll be rotating lifting your hand from the ground and apparently I look like I'm doing the dab here. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And so that is it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, make sure to give me one of your thumbs and you guys can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Give me every time.